Okay, so I got my headpiece cut out. The front of the bed goes up here. Now you cut this piece out at 80 inches to the short side, so the short side is going to be 80 inches, and then you just cut both sides on 45. But when I cut mine, Cut it like a sixteenth of an inch too short. So instead of wasting this piece of metal, it's not really a super huge deal, but instead of tossing this piece of steel and just cutting another piece, what I'm going to do is I'm going to center this up. And I'm just going to take my soft, my grinder. I'm just going to brush that off a little bit on each one of these. Just brush it off so that this fits perfectly. And then we'll move on. It won't even matter. Like, you're never going to see it. But yes, this is proof to pay attention to what you're doing. super important that this fits correctly and that this is not longer or shorter than these. If it's shorter, your bed's going to be put together like this. The tail end's going to be wider. And if it's skinnier, your bed's going to go in like this. So it's super important to get this part right. So now that we got our front piece cut out, we're going to go ahead and put it on the bed. And the easiest way to do that is take your tape measure, measure on the short side 21 and a half inches and make a mark. Do the same over here, 21 and a half inches and make a mark. Now these marks are going to go on the outside of your main frame rails. So what you're going to do is you're just going to center that, center that up as best you can. And the way we're going to weld that on is we're going to take, we're using 2x2 two two 120 wall here, so I got two scrap pieces of 2x2 two two 120 wall. And we're just going to put this right up against our mark. Take our square and make sure it's nice and, nice and flat. Nice and even with the top portion of our bed. Then we're going to tack that on there. Now we're going to tack these two pieces on. And you're going to want to make sure they're really square on there and flush with the top. Line it up with your mark that you made. Make sure it's flush with the top. And you're going to want to tack it on the side, not on the bottom, not on the top. So let's take our square and make sure that these are on their level. So we're going to roll this over, set it on top of our main frame rails, center it up. Make sure this is nice and flush up against your main frame rails. And if your lines are centered, which mine are, and then we're going to 
tack this, clip, this piece into place. Make sure these are nice and level. Now our front piece is installed. Now we're going to move on to the sides.